Hey there, friends. Nibs again, out here in the garage, and uh, I have a ma another mail call for you guys. Uh, before I get started, happy Memorial Day, everybody. Um, <laughs> gotta love Amazon delivering stuff on Memorial Day. But uh, anyway, so this is going to be a lot of fun here, I think. I have to blame this one on Maro from California Shooting Supplies for sending these along in uh, his... Uh, care package that he sent over a few days ago but uh, we have these are what the heck? fifty caliber <laughs> rubber balls plastic balls and uh, what we have here is let's get this open and we'll take a look at it there's a lot of videos on these guys already and on YouTube, I've been looking at it before, so tomorrow don't feel bad if uh, you think I really was serious uh, that I was blaming anything on you. But uh, it was a it was a good excuse for me to finally get one. I had been wanting one for a while. But what we have is the TR50. This is the Umarex T4E training for engagement. Uh, they call it the TR50, and so this is a 50 caliber. CO2 powered uh, air pistol and they make a bunch of different rounds that you can put in these and uh, different things different types of projectiles they even make uh, paint balls and pepper balls and all sorts of things but uh, let's see what you get in the package so you get a instruction manual you get uh, that's pretty cool <laughs> Nice tactical looking revolver. Uh, let's see if they got it. Oh yeah, there's more stuff here. So there's a big package of uh, extra extra magazines. So hopefully we can recover these balls and be able to shoot them over and over again. <laughs> but uh, so what you do, that's a CO2, you got a CO2 cap here in the bottom. not want to come out. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got no strength because I've been working on the roof over at our church all the last two days and I'm just totally whipped. But I wanted to get out here and get this thing unpackaged and see what it was all about. Let me see here. Wow, I think we've put on with uh, Gorilla Grip hands. That was completely unnecessary. <laughs> but uh, so there is our piercing cap and to load it we have a little release here for the magazine you push it up and then you can push the magazine out so now you take your I'm gonna have to get me they've got like packages of a hundred hundreds of these balls for they're pretty cheap I mean if you buy them like by the hundred, I think they're maybe like ten cents a piece or something like that. But uh, so it's got a six-round magazine. So you start from the back and just push the rubber ball in until it's even in the magazine. Six rounds in there. So there's ten rounds in this tube. So I, hopefully I'll be able to capture them in, in my pellet trap over there and I'll be able to reuse these ones at least for until I can get some more. So I got my CO2 cartridge. I'm gonna put a little drop on the CO2 cartridge like we always do. So then we're gonna load from the end of the hand grip with the nozzle uh, so that's facing up towards the bottom of the grip. We are going to screw this cap in, not gorilla grip it like it was. Holy smokes, I can't believe how. And then to, so the one thing about this is, this is kind of, uh, marketed as maybe a, a less lethal home defense gun. You can shoot the pepper balls. Uh, they do even have uh, sabotaged, uh, 
metal projectiles you can shoot out of this so um, we'll see how it goes with the power and everything I don't know if I would really want to rely on it but the, the whole premise is you can load up a magazine with you know whatever uh, projectiles you want and then this uh, cap here you can just put the co2 in there but don't puncture it and then if you do need it for some sort of home defense you can pop that and uh, then it'll be ready to go but we're gonna go ahead and pop it and so you, you can tell you hear the little pssst, but you can also tell if it's charged there's a little red indicator right there that pops out that wasn't popped out a second ago and uh, so this is double action only let me try a pretty loud <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, slip the magazine back into the close this little gate and now we're ready so I'm gonna bring you guys out here and we're gonna got my camera running man make sure I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit anything or not I've never shot this so Hitting high and high and left, at least with that shot. Sounds pretty powerful. Four. Oh, I missed. I, I wasn't aiming. And six. So that one was kind of hot, real high. That, that one that I was squeezing, but I wasn't aiming yet. And uh, I wasn't ready for it to go off, but it went off. But, so I think I'll be able to re recapture five of them anyway. I don't know where that other one went. It bounced over over in the, the junk over here a little bit. But uh, anyway, we'll do a lot more uh, playing with this guy down the road. It does have a uh, kind of a grip safety or a safety uh, built into the trigger. So you have to actually pull this little safety catch back before it'll uh, allow you to pull the thing back. But uh, that's pretty cool. Seems like it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully I can get the accuracy figured out on it and uh, we'll get a lot more uh, accuracy out of this thing. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, uh, no, nope, it's a smooth bore. Yeah, it's just definitely a smooth bore. But, I mean, I guess if you were relying on it for home defense, seven yards here, those were all, you know, a minute of bad guy. I'm sure, you know, the normal, ordinary person getting hit with one of these would, would probably stop and run away after you whacked them with it. But uh, these are definitely being touted as a uh, less than lethal home defense option. We'll explore that down the road, but... Just wanted to get the mail call done for you guys for today and let you see it. Um, I'll get some uh, some different kinds of projectiles ordered up for it, and we'll uh, we'll play with it a lot more. You know what? Let me uh, let me see. How does this? I'll, I'll load up those last four, and so it rotates that way. Let me load up these last four and just shoot them. And we'll get, and I'll have to go find them all. do have some 50 cal uh, black powder stuff here like lead balls and stuff I wonder if I could use any of that stuff in this thing so let's see if I got the revolver part set right here Oop, that one went low <laughs> definitely gonna take some practice to get this uh, there's, there's a good shot. Maybe I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> but anyway, there you guys go. There is the Umarex T4E TR50. And uh, it's a pretty cool toy. <laughs> having some, we'll have some fun with it and uh, play around with it. Maybe put a red dot on it. Maybe the red dot will help out. Because it's definitely very minimal sight, so... Anyway, there you go. 
Got this in my uh, Amazon storefront down below. You can find that first line uh, in my description down below. Less than 100 bucks. Not bad. So, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, have a great day.